This examination is looking at the relationship between the psoas and the piriformis, mostly in gait. The piriformis and the psoas have an agonist and antagonist relationship. Many times the piriformis can be in a locked short position and that would inhibit the psoas. This is a manual muscle test that we can use to see if that is occurring during gait. So first of all, let's get a psoas muscle that's going to be in a strong position. Stabilize the opposite ASIS. I'm bringing the leg out to about 30 degrees of abduction, 35 degrees of flexion, external rotation. Line of drive is going to be in line with the fibers of the psoas. I'm going this way. You keep me from doing that. And hold. And she's really quite strong. And hold. You can feel it locking on. So then now, we're going to add some tension to the piriformis. I'm going to bring the leg slightly into adduction. We've got about 90 degrees of knee flexion. I'm going to st um, stabilize the bottom of her foot, but I'm going to put pressure here, the spleen 6 region, on the lower leg medial side. I'm going to ask her, ask her to externally rotate her hip so the piriformis will be contracting. I'm also going to be pushing slightly into adduction so the piriformis at this angle will also be contracting. So I'm going to slightly press here about 10%. I'm going to be holding here about 90%. Now once we activate this for six seconds, I will then go right into the piriformis, uh, the psoas test, excuse me, go into the psoas manual muscle test and see if it weakens. It was initially strong. Let's see what happens when we load the piriformis. All right, so I'm going this way. And a little bit that way, you keep me from doing that. Are you ready? And hold. Okay, piriformis is activated. If it is going to be in a lock short position, we're adding more tension to it, creating more excess, so to speak. And relax. Let's see if that changes the strength of the psoas. Relax yourself. Hold that position. Ready? And hold. And it turns right off. So in this case, the assessment, we need to make sure that we are treating piriformis, which would be in excess, and the psoas, which would be inhibited. So we had a positive psoas reactive to the piriformis. Let's check and see if we can use acupuncture as an assessment that would change this, which would help me build a treatment protocol. So because the piriformis is going to be associated with the urinary bladder, and the psoas is associated with the kidney, we'll use the Luo point of the urinary bladder, which will be UB58. So we know that UB58 is going to be just down from UB57 to the lateral side. I'm going to palpate, make sure I'm on UB58. All right, so this is the classic source and Luo combination that we're going to be using. Sedating the woe points, which will then transfer over to the deficient channel. So now let's use the source point at kidney three. So I'm not going to needle perpendicular because I'm tired of hitting the tibial nerve so many times with patients. So one day it dawned on me if I just go ahead and needle from the posterior aspect of the Achilles tendon directly toward kidney three. I bypass that tibial nerve, but I still can propagate chi at tai chi, kidney three, the source point. How are you doing there? Okay. So then now let's make sure that you're going to be comfortable during this test. Okay. So we know that the psoas muscle is nice and strong initially until we load the piriformis. Once we load the piriformis, then that turns off the psoas. All right, so then now let's bring the leg up. If this is uncomfortable at all, okay, make sure you say something. I'm going this way and this way. Let's load the piriformis. Okay, go. Okay, increase it a little bit. Okay, good. So we have needles at kidney 3 and UB58. We're trying to be able to take energy away from the piriformis and put it back into the other channel, the psoas, and relax. We'll bring this leg up. Okay, stabilize. And ready, and hold. Go. Harder, and go. And go. 
Okay, there's enough there that I would say to go ahead and use UB58 and Kidney 3 because it definitely changed the amount of strength. It didn't lock on as much, but we have so many other ways that we can change this relationship between the piriformis and the psoas. So personally, I would use UB58 and Kidney 3 with this particular situation because it did make that change with manual muscle testing.